Good morning, friends. So, I'm a little sad because my page won't look exactly like yours because I don't have any more ink in my printer. Well, colored ink in my printer. And so my ladybugs are black and not the red ones like I have made for you guys. And guys, I'm pretty proud of myself. I made this on my, on my computer. I don't know how, but I made it and it's cute and I'm excited. So, anyways, rant over. Um, your page is going to look like this, but your hearts or your butterfly wings are going to be red. Okay. Um, so what we have on the top row are numbers and also on the bottom row, there are numbers. Now who can tell me what the top row numbers are? If you remember a few weeks ago, we learned something about numbers and then there are different form of numbers. We have one, three, five, seven, and nine. And then on the bottom, we have two, four, six, eight, ten. Who can tell me what the difference are for each row? Well, I will let you know. The first row are odd numbers right because remember one does not have a pair three I'll do it here three does not have a pair five does not have a pair seven does not have a pair and nine does not have a pair but the even numbers on the bottom they have pairs to go in the playground two four six eight ten all right, so what we're going to do is you can grab um, Q-tips with paint and you can make dots with them, or you can just use a simple marker like I am doing. Um, this will be a quick and easy peasy activity. So each head has a number in it, okay? What number is this? You know what, we're gonna go a little bit out of order to trick you guys, or at least I'm going to try and trick you guys. We'll see. What number is this? The number one. So how many dots do you think you're going to put on your number one? Just one. I'm gonna make a big old dot. Okay, now let's go this way. What number is this? 10, so we're going to make 10 dots. Now if you have Q-tips, you can just dab it with your paint like this. One, two, or if you have markers, you can color it in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Would you look at that? So cute. Now let's do this number. What number is this? Five. So we can do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The next number is this. Four. One, two, three, four. The next one is nine. Ready? One, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And the next one is three. Wow. We did almost all of, oh, of the, I'm going to color my, of the top row, which are the odd numbers. So let's go down to the bottom row. I'm coloring mine in because mine look weird little dots. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. All right, so what number is this? This is the number six. Now with the even numbers, it's a lot of fun to create, remember the word symmetry? To create the wing symmetrical, because we can, because it's even numbers, they have pairs. So let's do that. So I have three on this side, and I'm gonna try and make it the same on the other side. Okay. Now let's do two. One, two. And then let's do the number seven. So we can do three on one side, then four on the other. Three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven. And the last one is a number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now let's count our 
I lost the cap to my marker. No, I didn't. I found it. Let's count our ladybugs. We're going to count it regularly. One, two, three. And then we're going to do the odds and even numbers. Okay? Ready? Let's count regular. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, ooh, let's do backwards. Ready? Let's start from ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's do the odd numbers. That's the top row. One, three, five, seven, nine. Let's do the even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, my friends. Have a beautiful day. Maybe go outside and catch some ladybugs. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.